Hey guys, it's G and today we're doing a cloud pour. So for the cloud pour, we've got a phthalo blue, um, the deco art satin enamel, um, I believe it's called pure white. Uh, and we've got a green turquoise from um, Amsterdam. And this is just a separate mix of this. <clears throat> this is just the satin enamel white. This is some of the um, green turquoise or turquoise green with a little bit of this. Um, and we're using three pots float roll plus a little splash of water. And let me show you the consistency real quick. So look into the cup. You see how it drizzles. The drizzle falls straight through, no mound. It's pretty thin. So the idea is we're gonna first uh, use this larger amount of blue, give ourselves a base coat. Then we are gonna put these colors into this cup or whatever is left over of the blue. But we won't stack them neatly on top of each other. We're gonna let them fall straight in. So we're gonna pour with a heavy flow straight down so you should be able to see the paint sink into the blue not sit on top okay but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's first do the base so so while we speed this up this is a good time to let you know that i've launched my acrylic pouring online course on my website gpours.com and i'll put that on the screen if you've been looking for a comprehensive source to learn acrylic pouring all in one spot, this is the place for you. Uh, you should check it out because I cover pretty much everything from materials, um, techniques, recipes, understanding consistency and cells. Uh, and I even sweetened the deal with some uh, color combo inspiration downloadable sheets, um, a loaded frequently asked questions section, and also a terminology guide. So really, it's everything you need to get started with acrylic pouring. Do check it out and let me know what you think. It's a good time to torch the bubbles right now. If you have any, this might just be my canvas. Okay. We have quite a bit of blue left over, but that's okay. So, as I mentioned, straight into the cup. You see, I'm sank. And then we'll take the white. Also let it sink. And then I'm just gonna try and cover up. That's okay. And then you can straight pour, green pour onto the canvas. So some of them will jump to the surface immediately, some of them will take some time, but the more you spread it around, the easier it becomes for them to cut through. You can see this start to happen. And if you give it some heat with the torch or the heat gun, this will speed it up a little. So now we can begin to tilt. So go here first, back. Turn this around, bring this back to center, tilt to the other corner. Very good. Come back, tilt down here, 
Oop, too much. Bring it back. Just gonna turn it around so you can see. And then hit that last corner. And now the fun will begin. Now the cells will actually pop up. So I've decided I'd like to go over this again with another one and let's see what happens. So I'm going to grab this again. The rings turned out a lot better on this one. So first let's see what the torch does. So when using the enamel it's interesting because you always get sort of a mixture between clouds and pearls. So these round usually white because the satin enamel is white will cause pearls and that's the majority of what you're seeing on the outside but then the fluffier cells that will show up as we begin to tilt that's the characteristic of the of the cloud port so let's begin to tilt this See, I have a very unfortunate piece of goo smack in the middle of the canvas. Let's see if I can get this out. I have unfortunately misplaced my, my tweezers. So, this is going to be interesting. So here we go, see, cloud cells, little pearls on the outside. Second M is a very interesting material, it kind of creates a whole bunch of different effects depending on how you use it. So let's give this another torch and let's see what happens here. And here it is a few minutes later. You can see the cells develop a little. Um, there's that patented sort of milky, cloudy look to the white that gives the cloud pour its name. I really like how this turned out. I'm going to leave some photos of it for you to check out. Do remember to check out my course if you're looking to learn acrylic pouring. This is a great place for you to start. This was G, and I'll see you in the next video.